in the mornings I feed them vegetables from the garden and then that's amazing I can't wait guys I told you this would produce for Christmas it looks like a cantaloupe it looks like a watermelon Good morning. Where's Rock Streak? Welcome to the channel, guys. Well, there you are. What are you doing up here? Guys, it is super early. These are our new babies. Welcome them to Farming on the Rocks. My name is Marie. If you're new here, they're so shy. These are my silky babies. And they like vegetables, unlike Rockstrick. Rockstrick will eat it. Good morning to you. But <laughs> Rockstrick prefers to eat pellets. Come here. Are you eating it for us this morning? Thank you. Appreciate it. Veggies are good for you. Guys, it is so early. It's 5.30. just starting to get bright it's beautiful and cool this morning and early mornings I take care of the animals before anything else see my shy baby coming up I absolutely love these chickens <laughs> And these and um, they like the cold because if you notice their coats are fluffy like a rabbit's coat so we have to keep them very very cool but they are beautiful where are you going my dear I can't wait for them to get as tame as this other baby here this one likes to be pet like a puppy hmm? don't it Whenever I try to leave it, it pines like a puppy, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, guys, this video is just to highlight our new babies. Well, as you know, we have our rabbits too, so I'm going to go around there shortly and feed them. Show you my feeding routine with the rabbits. But these chickens, they enjoy the, the vegetables, but they're shy. And they're not sure what the camera is right now, so they're, they're even shyer. <laughs> yes, 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 Rockstreak? I'm not talking about you, I should be talking about you. Huh? What should I say about you? I don't know what you are still. Guys, the, with the rules that it should get up. Why are you pecking at me? Why? It should get some long feathers close to the tail area right there. I'm not seeing those. But so it might be a girl, I don't know. Come. Come. No. This little one at the front, she's the N and the bigger one at the back is the rooster that's the rooster right there the comb on its head is a little bigger and also what are those things under the the chin called i had no idea yeah, i should i should learn more about chickens don't it yeah are you gonna come up here this morning yes miss miss or mr jealous yes you want me to pick you up, but I'm doing something.
here are the sound they make guys the sounds are cute I see you guys later. All right. I'll see you guys later. That's one of the tiniest babies of the farm. Guys have about 15 cats and counting. Yeah. Be, be nice. I don't know why guys but my cats not my cats my rabbits love callaloo any one of the callaloo whether it's the red or the green they absolutely love callaloo <laughs> son usually feed them before he goes off in the morning he enjoys that little activity I place these watering thing on the on the um, the rabbits thing I don't think they're drinking from it so I still put the water in there because I don't want can you just wait, ma'am? Here. Come on, here. I don't want them to get thirsty and not of what. And you poop on your little board. Guys, I soon tell you what the boards are for. Let me just give them the food first. Look at Roy. Behaving bad. Here. There you go. I'm gonna give you some and give Miss Rosie some. <laughs> All right, guys. So the bit of board that you're looking at right there is for them to rest their feet off of the wire. Even though. If you notice the wire on the sides, it's different from the one I placed on there. So it, this is more gentle on the little feet. <clears throat> Even though guys, their feet, it's super padded. It seems as though they were designed for wires. Their feet are super padded. So that board, however, is for, is for them to rest their feet if they want to get up off of the wire. But because their boards right around the perimeter, they, they tend to just stay wherever they want. They'll use the board, but they'll just stay wherever they want. Alright, so in the mornings, I feed them vegetables from the garden. And then in the evening, I feed them their pellets in their containers. Sometimes they have some left over for the morning. But this mama... She's eating like crazy. And if I just... The rabbits, you're not to handle them too much once they're bred. But 
she likes to be petted and she don't want to be bothered now because she's eating her food but she likes to be petted so she'd come right to the front of the cage and i'll just put my hand on her stomach and i can feel her babies move guys look how fat she is i can feel her babies move no she's supposed to um give birth next week she's in her third week now so sometime next week she used to give birth so i started fixing up her um nesting box or nesting area i'm gonna show you what that look like yes ma'am yes pretty you're so pretty if i hold my hand on her stomach she don't want to be handled at all is she eating she said don't trouble me let me eat in peace all right let me show you what her nesting box look like yes yes sir yes sir all right she they're not drinking from the water in container not yet at least all right so this is where steve made their nesting her nesting box in here so i started i have to close it off from her because she's using it for a toilet so i started putting in some a in there it is big she's gonna have more than space and then next week i'm going to remove this put some more a in the cage so she can come around and make her bed because they want to make their bed themselves so next week she can start i'm gonna open here at day 27 and then she'll be able to come around and make her nest however she pleases girl just chilling right now not focusing let me see if she'll allow me to just rest my hand like i usually do yes yeah, so i just put my hand on her stomach like that and right now i'm feeling the babies jumping around in there so she's gonna have babies next week or early the following week right mama you're such a good mama and I open the nesting box now. She goes around there and eat the A. And I don't want I want her to know that that's her labor ward back there. <laughs> and not her feeding and poopoo -poo station. Mama. Yeah, and they're doing good. They're doing fantastic. So see, she's laying on the board right there. I want to make them as happy as possible so still put the board in there see she using it at her as her poop station instead yeah so that's how they're doing it's beautiful outside beautiful beautiful the sun is about to come up though but look what steve got us these are three roses so these are new additions to the family as well and look at that i pruned it and we planted them out in these big pots and it's already budding so we're gonna have a beautiful rose right there soon amazing guys i just saw something let me show you let me take you out there and show you guys that's not it guys look at this this is our red gungo piece that we got from Portland on our Portland road trip. You should remember that video. Can you see that? That's amazing. I can't wait. Guys, I told you this would produce for Christmas. Gungo piece usually produces for Christmas here in Jamaica. How about where you are living? Is it a seasonal thing? It is very seasonal. Look at my, my little broccoli. <laughs> It's seasonal for us guys. We only get gungo peas in Christmas here. Beautiful. I'm watching these okras that not allowing them to go bad on me. Watching them. Guys, you told me this might be cocoa melon or cucumber melon. 
it is bigger guys let me show you kicker melons are small it looks like a cantaloupe it looks like a watermelon i don't know what it is i can't wait for it to mature i i, I would have to just wait on this to dry i guess and then we'll see what it is together as long as it survives open it does so we can all see together what it is ah all right let me just quick wow beautiful let me just walk up top and just see if anything is going awry i'm going to harvest these look at that bending over there already this one totally broke Just look quickly if anything out of place. I took six ornworm off of these tomatoes yesterday. Six big ornworms. These ornworms not playing. Look at this plant. Every leaf off and the tomato plant is producing and the ironworms want to eat more than I am eating off of it <clears throat> ah, it's beautiful this morning it's beautiful beautiful let me just check on these tomatoes over this side this is definitely the purple bell pepper and not the diamond <laughs> okay then all right so i stake up these tomatoes last night sleep look diseased i have to watch them for onworm guys All right, so I just wanted to share the animals with you this morning, basically. That's, it's not a garden morning, so to speak. Let's check on my um, passion fruit. That's the only fruit I'm seeing so far. Beautiful. All right. Okay, guys, so take care now. Until we meet again in the other video tomorrow, I have some work to do. This is just a relaxing video. The next video is work, 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 guys. All work. All work. Next video. Alright, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.